still an actor. You know, maybe he's like still trying to make it out it's in that world. Money. That's the hardest world to make it in, man. In acting? Oh. Because they don't have to pick you. You could be amazing. And some shitty casting agent, some shitty director, they might not like you. They might You might remind them of an ex-boyfriend. They might think you're too confident or they might be playing power trip games. Yeah. There's too much. And there's a lot of nepotism, too, it seems like, in that oh, industry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a lot of, like, you see so many people get opportunities where you're like, man, did that person really... Uh, or was there uh, were opportunities where their family was involved, you know? It's it's family involved, but in more cases, it's networking. Yeah. It's like they, they go, they ne I dated a girl who was an actress when I first came here, and she always was networking. She's like, I have to go to this party. I have to meet these people. I have to know these casting people. I have to know these. And I'm like, oh. And she would go around them and be so fake. Oh, my God, I love your dress. Like, that kind of shit. And you're like, yeah. oh, it's exhausting. Because it's one thing if someone's like super complimentary yeah. and they have nothing to gain for it. Like, dude, I love your shoes. Where'd you get those? And you know it's pure. Yeah. It's nice. It's like, like, oh, yeah, thanks, I like man. your hat. I like yeah. your yeah. Oh, I like your arms or whatever. If someone's complimentary of you, look at you, handsome motherfucker. Yeah. It's nice. It's, it's, it's complimentary yeah. for no reason. But there's something gross about when you know someone that I know this girl. This is not how she is. Right. And she's kissing everybody's ass just to just appear nicer like maybe they'll think about her when it when a role comes oh. up maybe and so that forms their opinions on things too because that forms their political opinions because they find out what the political opinions of the casting people and the executives which is always left-leaning yeah unless you're on yellowstone you know you you better you know you, you better be wearing a fucking pride flag or something like you have to like be a hundred percent progressive liberal leaning left-leaning yeah and so these people alter their, they alter their opinions of the world based on what is going to get them closer to the the honey pot. Yeah, you know. Oh yeah, I think it's amazing that all of Hollywood has the same political beliefs. All, except Yellowstone, that Taylor Sheridan guy. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. He seems like an interesting guy. Have he, you met him? No, I need. Uh, I've connected with him on text messages. He's friends with Whitney, mm -hmm. but I admire that guy. And I'd, his shows are fucking amazing. People love him, dude. Yeah, and his movies, too. He made that, what, what was that fucking movie, the bank robbery movie with, uh, was Jeff Bridges in it? God damn it, it's good. I know the movie. You know who I want to meet? Hell or High Water? Hell or High Water. That's it. Yeah, Sicario. God damn. And he made Sicario? Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Really? Sicario, too, kind of sucked. Was Sicario with, um... Benicio Del Toro. Benicio. Oh, no. I'm thinking of something. Benicio else. Del Toro. I love that dude. Yeah. He seems like a cool motherfucker. Well, Spanish people always seem cool, I think, because it's neat to say their name. Benicio Del Toro. Yeah. Yeah. Benicio He's just cool. Del Toro. I remember when he was in... Uh, Secretariat. He was in um, uh, the Johnny Depp movie about Hunter S. Thompson. Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Oh, uh, that was the movie He, he played the attorney. Oh. That was a great movie. We he can't played stop the attorney. Yeah. This is bad. <laughs> yeah, there he is. <laughs> he got fat for that movie wow. too. Wow. Yeah, that was a fucking great movie. That movie makes me want to do drugs. Oh God. Makes you want to do drugs and go to Vegas. Oh, fun fucking times. Benicio oh. del Toro. Yeah. He was also the werewolf. Did you ever see him in the Wolfman? Love. You can see him looking in his eyes yeah. right there and tell he was. He was good in the Wolfman. The Wolfman was kind of a cornball movie. It was like a combination of CGI and like real like Rick Baker style makeup, which is pretty cool. But the Wolf Man, you never saw it? No. Find, find the the scene where uh, Benicio del Toro transforms into the the werewolf, because there's a scene when they they've got him bolted down to a chair in an operating room, mm 